Holy shit, you guys are absolutely vicious. If you guys haven't checked out our previous video of wheel history, we talk about XXRs, their history, what they're made out of, and today we're gonna be talking about the Godsend, the best wheel in the history of wheels, the ultimate wheel that God would put on his Chevy Caprice, work wheels. So Work Wheels is already a step up on XXR because they at least have a Wikipedia page and you're going to see all the sources that we list here today in the description in case you think we're wrong or that we're mispronouncing or missaying something so you guys can yell at us in the comments just like you did last week except most of you were wrong. So in March 8, 1977, Work Wheels officially launched in Japan. China? Japan? China? Japan? 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 Wrong. Japan? Japan. Ah. Wrong. Work began making wheels under one line first called the Equip line, and that's actually a line of wheels that still continues to this day and is considered one of the longest lasting wheel lines in the history of aftermarket wheels. You guys have probably heard of the Equip line, but here's a couple others in case you need a refresher course. Get that education, bro! Hell yeah! Work began operating multi-piece wheels back in the early or late 70s and continued in the 80s and 90s. So this isn't something that's new to them. And in fact, they achieved their ISO 9001 back in 2003. What? It's an optional standardization for performance, F international, standard F international organization for standardization. The main winding was of the normal Lotus O deltoid type placed in panendermic semi boloid slots of the stator. So Work Wheels currently has four factories in Japan, one in Okayama, one in Sakai, and one in Shiki. And because I don't want to mess this up because I know you guys are going to crucify me, that's a bad term. I know that you guys are going to mess me up. Wait, that's even worse. Since I know you guys are going to try and criticize us for what we know, I'm reading off my cheat sheet right here. Again, sources in the description. Nikki Sangye Ko and Haiwa Kenzoku Company are their major metal suppliers, according to Alconics Corporation, Heiwi can, can, Hiwa Kenzoku is a subsidiary which also produces metal items like aircrafts, motorcycles, automobiles, air conditioners, lead frames, and aluminum cans. So let's talk about their monoblock designs. They're actually pretty killer. You can probably pick up a set for around $1,400, $1,500. I actually have a set that I bought here. Oh, it's, it's pretty cool. This is a work one piece RSZ E Wing, 18 by 8 or so. This is actually a pretty cool wheel. It's an old school wheel, but just so you guys know, we are in fact. Uh, not just XXR owners, we own some other cool stuff. So this is actually something that's going on in one of my cars once it's restored. So 1400 bucks doesn't seem like a big deal, right? Well, that's their monoblock. Once you start getting into their two and three piece, that's where that price point really starts to go up. Their two pieces are generally made using a low cast pressure system for the center disc and then a spun forged barrel. This generally makes the wheel lighter and a little bit more durable than your one piece counterparts, but that's debatable. Now let's talk about the godsend, the best thing that you can get work wheels for. We're gonna talk about the three piece wheels and we're gonna talk about the three piece wheel behind me, which is huge. So we're gonna have a plug out to Michael Frederick for letting us borrow one of his work wheels. It's a three piece wheel that he's actually building his Mitsubishi Evo on. If that's your kind of thing, it's gonna be a stanced out monster. So if that's, uh, that's if you like, we'll drop the IG below. So a three-piece wheel is probably the best thing that you can do if you're looking for a multi-piece wheel, just because the amount of variety that you can get with it. The ability to adjust offset, to change diameter, to mess with your barrel lengths and all that sort of stuff, allow you to get a very customized wheel for your car, like the one that we see behind us. Something to remember though is like a Workmeister 3P is gonna cost you around $3,400 before you get into the actual customization if you're looking for anything special. So starting off at the beginning of the process, there is multiple ways that you can actually develop a three-piece wheel, depending on if you do the sandwich method or an inner outer barrel, all that sort of stuff. But we're gonna talk about one in specific. We're gonna start off with just the barrel, which can be aluminum cast or actually spun. It can be forged, which is what most people are gonna go with just because it has a stronger durability. The inner and outer rims are either CNC machined, spun, forged, or cast aluminum, depending on the years that work was made in them and then what you're looking at getting now. So with the work wheel, you have an inner lip and an outer lip, but then you have your face and then those two come together they smush together like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then you put your torque screws in and that's how you actually get your wheel due to the general consistency of work wheels being on an aggressive setup or for a demanding track purpose work understood the need to having something built to sustain on the outer rim instead of having a hollow design like a lot of your pokey wheels are going to have this actually features uh, what they call a full material rim edge which is not hollow. Like a lot of your competition wheels, it's gonna feature a much stronger design, especially if they're forged, just allows you to bang them up a little bit more. And that's where you get the tendency to where they bend and don't actually crack. Uh, so that's actually where you're gonna get a lot of that dependability, reliability, that's where you're gonna get that sustainability. That's why a lot of people love these wheels, is just because they're so damn reliable and they just tend to not break. 
but when they do, it's expensive. One thing you really have to consider though from the fundamental basic point of view is the price point. You're spending $3,200 on a set of three-piece wheels that they look great, very customizable, but you are waiting a long time for that. Generally speaking, work wheels from start to port usually take anywhere from two to three months. However, horror stories aren't uncommon of them lasting more than five to six months to get to you if there's any sort of inconsistencies or problems with your actual wheel order. On top of that, when you start customizing a wheel, especially something as specific as your torque screws and all that sort of stuff or torque uh, bolts, there's going to be a lot of chance that you're gonna mess it up. So sometimes people spend four or five months waiting for their work wheel, the work wheel gets delivered to their doorstep, and it's the wrong diameter or it's the wrong uh, offset by millimeter because that's how you can adjust these wheels. So you have to be very careful on when you're ordering a set of work wheels or any multi-piece wheels that has a lot of customization that you know what you're doing. You are spending a pretty good amount of time just researching if it's gonna fit for your wheel and if it does, if it's gonna clear your turns and your bumps and all that sort of fun stuff. Ask Michael Frederick how it's working out for him right now. He'll tell you that he probably wants to burn his whole car to the ground. So are work wheels great? Absolutely. They're awesome multi-piece wheels. They're mono blocks are great, but you are paying for that quality, especially with the multi-piece. You're gonna see it right in the middle. There are some multi-piece that are a little bit cheaper. There are some multi-piece that are a little bit more like AG, which we'll get into in later episodes of the series, but you are getting what you pay for and you do have to be patient with what you're buying. Sometimes it's not always gonna be the way that you want it. And sometimes you just have to put up with it. If you're willing to pay the money and you're willing to actually use these wheels for their intended purpose, then go out and pick up a set. There are plenty of work dealers out there. We're actually not one of them. So you can stop saying it's a fucking sales pitch because it's not. We're here to educate you guys on these wheel, co uh, wheel companies and we hope that you guys enjoy these series. But since this isn't a sales pitch, I want you to add your car to the gallery. It's www.fitminning.com forward slash ad. Please, thank you. Work wheels, we don't sell, but they're really cool wheels as long as you're willing to pay the money for. My name is Alex, this is Fitman Inc. Hopefully you don't hate me anymore. We'll see you next week for another episode. Which one's my left hand? Peace.